Welcome back. Veris Research is comprised of an elite team of scientists and research engineers. Now, they all have experience in all sorts of fields, including advanced electromagnetic simulation, microwave system modeling, as well as nuclear systems analysis and more. Now, they've just been awarded a $52 million contract from the Naval Service Warfare Center Crane Division. We're joined this morning by Veris Research Chief Operating Officer Daniel Treble. And we're going to find out more about this grant as well as what it's going to be used for. Untying all the knots for us, Daniel, how are you doing this morning? Great. Yeah, it is great to have you with us. So for folks at home, let's give them a little bit of research or background of what Veris Research is all about. Uh, well, like you said, Veris Research, we're a team of scientists, engineers, and professionals that do research and development. Um, but what is research and development, right? We take technologies that are just coming out of a laboratory setting, right, where you need a bunch of PhDs and a whole rack of equipment to use the technology mm -hmm. and we mature it so that more people can use it in more places so you don't have to have a phd and so you don't have to be in a lab you could be out in the field mm -hmm. to use the technologies that's what we do yeah that's and that's a great way to kind of boil it down and 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 even some of the research that i mean comes out of Veris is is stuff that affects everything that we have around us our phones our telecommunications and everything with satellites up in space right Absolutely. What makes our research a little unique is we don't have a specific, specific technology we're focusing on. We cover a broad range of technologies. Yeah. Helping out with that now is a $52 million contract from the Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane Division. How is that giving you guys a boost? Uh, it is a big boost because um, it's going to grow our footprint here in Albuquerque quite a bit. We're expecting oh. to add at least 15 new folks over the next 6 to 12 months. Um, we're also really excited because this contract is going to leverage some research we've been doing for a number of years. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a vote of confidence that the research we've been developing uh, is maturing and is going to be useful for more folks. What's great about this too is that, you know some of the, the, the really um, brilliant minds that are coming out of the universities here in New Mexico, there's potential for them to stay here and continue on with their work, right? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of highly technical jobs are what we need to get this contract accomplished. Mm -hmm. And again, it's going to be making a big impact here in the Albuquerque and uh, state economy. So it's, it's great that we have, you know, these businesses like Veris to, to kind of boost that and, and help it along. But um, supporting neutron and gamma test capability, how does that help? Yeah, so uh, what we're doing under this contract is we are actually building a machine okay. that is capable of producing both neutron environments and gamma environments simultaneously. And that'll be the first time this has ever been done before. Mm -hmm. So what it will enable is the Navy to ensure their systems can survive critical scenarios to a level of confidence they've never had before. Wow. And especially with uh, some of the uh, conflicts that are going on globally or potential things that uh, could be looming on the horizon, um, this technology and this enabling of them for safety could be going a long way, right? It has become much more of a focus, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, expanding the, the research on, on everything, uh, even something like dense plasma-focused neutron sources, right? Absolutely. So I mentioned this new contract takes advantage of some research we've been doing for a while. That is our dense plasma focus. So uh, Dense Plasma Focus is a plasma fusion device. Okay. Um, Albuquerque happens to be a little bit of a hotbed for those. Sandia has their Z machine. This is almost a little bit smaller version, slightly different technologies. Okay. But we've been over the last several years been able to mature that technology from kind of a academic and laboratory curiosity, novelty, to something that can consistently and reliably produce a large number of fusion spectrum neutrons, which is exactly what the Department of Defense and the Navy need for ensuring their mission critical systems can survive these nuclear environments. And again, all that research and hard work uh, being done here by Veris. Uh, where can we go for more, more information, Daniel? Uh, website is the best, hmm. V-E-R-U-S research.net. Uh, we're also out on LinkedIn. Very cool. Congratulations on that $52 million contract and again, just increasing uh, the footprint and presence here in New Mexico. Thank you so much. We're Absolutely. excited. Absolutely. For a full recap of the entire interview, you can find it on alwaysonkrqe.com. Stay with us.